Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss how to generate the Fibonacci series using tabulation method. In the previous session, we have discussed how to generate this Fibonacci series using memoization method. In that method, we have used the recursive algorithm. Now, to implement for the tabulation method, we will use the iterative algorithm to generate the Fibonacci series. So, the Fibonacci series is nothing but Initially, we have to consider the value 0 and 1. These two are the initial values. With the help of this initial two values, we can able to generate the next term in the Fibonacci series. So, for example, 0 plus 1. If you are adding the previous two terms in the sense, we will get the next term that is 1. And if you want to generate the next term, add the previous two term values that is 1 plus 1 we will get 2. Next term, previous two terms we need to add, that is 1 plus 2, we will get 3. Next term, 2 plus 3, it is 5. 3 plus 5, it is 8. 5 plus 8, it is 13. So, likewise, we can able to generate the Fibonacci series. This Fibonacci series, we can able to generate with the help of the recursive algorithm also, iterative algorithm also. That recursive algorithm is an example to implement for the memoization method. And this iterative algorithm is an example to implement for the tabulation method. So, memoization method already we have discussed in our previous video. So, now we will discuss this tabulation method. So, iterative algorithm is nothing but using any looping statements. With the help of the looping statements, we can able to generate this term. That is nothing but the iterative algorithm. Recursive algorithm is nothing but the function calls itself. So, now if we consider the iterative algorithm int Fibonacci series f int n. So, this n is nothing but the value we are going to assign. If n value is 0 or 1 in the sense, it has to return the same n value only. So, if n value is less than or equal to 1 means. That is, if n value is 0 in the sense, it has to return 0. If n value is 1 in the sense, it has to return 1. So, return n itself. And the initial values we need to assign. That is, f of 0 is equal to 0 and f of 1 is equal to 1. Next, using the looping statement, we have to implement the logic. So, the looping statement, if you are considering, we are using for loop here. For i is equal to 2 onwards. That is, if the value is 0 and 1 in the sense, it has to return n itself. Okay. From 2 onwards, from i value 2 onwards, we have to implement this concept. That is, adding previous two terms i less than or equal to n. What is the n value given by the user up to that n value? It has to implement this statement. i plus plus. So, what is the statement we have to implement? That is, add the previous two terms to generate the next term. So, initial value was 0 and 1. If n value was 0 in the sense, 0 less than or equal to 1, it has to return 0 only. If n value is 1 in the sense, it has to return 1 only. So, for these two values, we cannot able to use this for loop. From the second term of the Fibonacci series, we have to use this for loop. So, what we have to use? That is, f of i is equal to f of i minus 2 plus f of i minus 1. So, if i value is equal to 2 in the sense, so f of 2 in the sense, 2 minus 2, that is f of 0 plus f of 2 minus 1, that is f of 1. These two terms we need to add to get the f of 2 position. That is the meaning. So, whatever the value we are giving for n except 0 and 1, we need to implement this iterative algorithm, that is this for loop. And finally, it has to return f of n. So, this is the iterative algorithm to generate the Fibonacci series. So, the time complexity if you are using that is f of n is equal to, if the value is 0 in the sense, 
n value is 0 and 1 in the sense if n value is equal to 1 the value is 1. For other values we need to use this statement that is f of n minus 2 plus f of n minus 1. For n value greater than 1, we need to use this term. That is f of n minus 2 plus f of n minus 1. So, if you are considering the tabulation method, the values will be stored in a table. So, if you are considering the Fibonacci series, initial two values we know. That is f of 0 position, the value is 0 only. And f of 1 position, the value is 1 only. For the remaining terms, we need to use this iterative algorithm. So, if you want to generate f of 4 means, so n value if you have given 4 in the sense, here it will check the condition, whether 4 is less than or equal to 1, condition fails. So, it will come down, these two values will be initialized. Then, for int i is equal to 2, initial value, we, here that is the starting value, here we will consider 2. Check the condition whether 2 less than or equal to, to n, n value is 4. Condition true. So, f of 2 it will generate. So, f of 2 is nothing but f of 2 minus 2. That is f of 0 plus f of 2 minus 1. That is f of 1. So, in f of 0 position and 1 position, what is the value? That is 0 and 1. So, 0 plus 1, we will get it as 1. So, f of 2 position, we will get it as 1. Okay. Next, i value gets incremented to 3. i value will be 3. Check the condition whether 3 is less than or equal to 4. Condition true. Generate the term f of 3. So, f of 3 equal to f of 3 minus 2. So, we will get it as f of 1 plus f of 3 minus 1, that is f of 2. So, f of 1 plus f of 2. So, in f of 1 position, what is the value? 1. Plus f of 2 position, what is the value? 1. So, 1 plus 1, we will get it as 2. So, third term, if you are considering, value is 2. Next, i value gets incremented to 4. Check the condition whether 4 is less than or equal to 4. Condition true. Equality condition is satisfied. Next, generate for f of 4. So, f of 4 is equal to f of 4 minus 2. That is f of 2 position. f of 2 position value plus f of 4 minus 1. That is f of 3 position value. So, add these two values. So, f of 2 position value is 1 and f of 3 position value is 2. We will get it as 3 that is the fourth position. Next, i value gets incremented to 5. Check the condition whether 5 less than or equal to 4. Condition fails. It will come out of the loop and it will return f of 4 position. What is the value? Answer we will get it as 3. So, if you are considering here in this iterative algorithm, the value it will generate from the initial values. That is the lowest value. That is from bottom value. And it will proceed towards the top. So, if you want to find f of 10 value means, considering these two initial values, it will generate f of 2, f of 3, f of 4 up to f of 10. So, if you are considering, it is generating the Fibonacci series from the lowest level. That is f of 0, f of 1, f of 2, f of 3, f of 4. But if you are considering the memoization method, f of 4 if you want to generate in the sense, this problem will be divided into f of 3 and then f of 2. That is from the top value, that is from the biggest value, it is dividing it into two sub-problems. Again, this problem will be divided into further two sub-problems if possible and then it will generate from the leap. Initially, the problem will be divided from the top. So, it will be considered as the top-down approach. This memoization method will be considered as the top-down approach. But this tabulation method, if you are considering, 
it is generating the fibonacci series from the bottom level from the lowest value so it will be considered as the bottom up approach since it starts from the lowest value and it will store the result in a table the memoization method and tabulation method are the two methods we will implement in dynamic programming to solve the problems so in this session we have discussed with the tabulation method to generate the fibonacci series using iterative algorithm in the next session we will move on to the dynamic programming problems that is warshall's algorithm and floyd's algorithm thank you for watching this video